Bilayer interferometry is a label-free technology used to determine the rate of association and rate of dissociation between two molecules. This technique analyzes the interference pattern of white light reflected from two surfaces, a layer of immobilized protein on the biosensor tip and an internal reference layer. As shown in this figure, a protein or peptide of interest is immobilized onto the biosensor tip. The biosensor tip can be coated with several types of agents, such as streptavidin or nickel, for which the bound molecule needs to be modified with biotin or histidine tag, respectively, to enable immobilization of the molecule of interest. After this step, the sensor is submerged into a solution containing a blocking agent to suppress any possible non-specific interactions with the biosensor. Then another baseline is recorded. And finally, the biosensors are dipped into different concentrations of a second protein to find the association and dissociation constants with the respective binding partner. A change in the local refractive index causes a shift in the interference pattern and therefore it can be used to define the association and dissociation constants. There are six steps in a standard bioligar interferometry experiment. First, the sensors are dipped into a buffer only wells to enable equilibration of the sensors. Then, the first molecule of interest is added at a fixed concentration. It is important to leave one well with buffer only to check for non-specific interactions with molecule two, which will require a further optimization. The sensors are then dipped into wells containing a blocking agent. This step is optional, but is crucial in the case that there is any evident non-specific binding of molecule two to the biosensor. The sensors are then dipped into buffer only again, but this time the buffer washes away any unbound molecule one. In the association step, the second protein is added with two controls. One has only protein molecule one and no molecule two, as shown in G5. And the second one has no molecule one, but only molecule two, as shown in H5. This control the first control acts as a reference signal, and the second control will enable to monitor any possible non-specific interactions between molecule 2 and the biosensor. Finally, the sensors are dipped back into buffer only to record the dissociation. Before starting the experiment, the sensors need to be hydrated for 10 minutes into buffer only. Next, the sensor tray and 96 volt plate are placed into the octet machine, as shown in the video. In the software, we are able to input the sensor check, loading, blocking, baseline, association, and dissociation steps. Afterward, we need to select the uh, position where the sensors are going to be located and the type of sensor. We then check and verify that the sensor is going to the right wells for the right amount of time and in the right order. And finally, we're ready to run the experiment. Thank you.